Welcome back everybody. My name is Abby and I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do a full body workout using one tool, a gallon jug. So I have just a gallon jug of water here, um, but you can easily use uh, a milk jug that you're reusing. Just rinse it out and fill it full of water. If it's too heavy, a gallon jug full weighs eight pounds. So eight pounds is you know, something that we can do with shoulders and biceps and lots of different things. Um, but because it's an odd shape and it's variable with the water, it's a great tool to use for a workout. So we're going to use this for our entire workout. You don't need anything fancy. Um, if you can't find a gallon jug sitting around your house, that's fine. You can obviously use a medicine ball or a dumbbell, but I kind of like the variability of the water and the fact that you have to hang on to it differently than a good handle on a dumbbell, because a lot of things that we do in life require, you know, a different grip and a different variability. So that being said, make sure you start with a warm up before you do this. So if you haven't warmed up, press pause, go for a little walk, climb up and down your stairs a few times, get your heart rate up warm up your muscles and then find a gallon jug and let's get working. Okay, we're gonna start with a squat today. So many times I do this with a kettlebell in my gym, but we're gonna just hold it on the ends like this. So you can kind of hold the handle or hold the ends, whatever works for you. You can even just kind of hold, you know, the handle like this, but we're gonna do a big squat, putting this down to the floor in between our legs. So. Start with your back tall, your feet a good distance apart, and you're gonna sit those hips back and drop that weight to the floor. Drop that gallon jug all the way to the floor. Try to keep your chest up high, looking across the room. And remember, you really wanna sit those hips back like you're gonna sit down into a chair, keeping those knees over your ankles, and similarly, keeping your knees straight and not letting them collapse. But since you're going in between your knees, they can't really collapse anyway. So this is a great exercise to help keep you in a good posture and a good alignment. Don't drop over like this. Sit those hips back, keep your chest up high, squeeze your glutes as you come up. Let's do three more. And if you can't get this all the way down to the floor, that's okay. You can just start here and do little squats. You're still contracting the same muscles. You're contracting your glutes and your quads, those big muscles in your legs, lifting heavy objects off the floor. So that's something we have to do throughout our normal day, right? If you have laundry on the floor, if you have a, um, a jug of laundry detergent that you need to pick up and move, doing it with proper form and having practiced doing it can really help you to avoid injury. Okay, next we're gonna do an overhead press. So, the great thing about this is you can make it work for you. So feet about shoulder width apart, contract those abs, keep them engaged to protect your low back. And we're gonna press straight overhead like this. However, if this doesn't feel very challenging to you, you can grab it with one hand and press up overhead. And this will take, the only thing different here is it'll take a little bit longer, but it gives you the weight that you need if just eight pounds between your hands isn't enough. And doing things single-sided can be really good to um, contract your core and all of your stabilizing muscles to stay stable while you press one overhead. If pressing just with, and it's, it's a different kind of handle, right? So you're having to hang on to it a little bit differently. The liquid is kind of challenging you moving around Again, if this is too much, grab it with both hands and press overhead with both. We're keeping that back nice and supported with our abdominal muscles. If you do have back pain, pushing weight over your head, have a seat and do it this way. You're still working your muscles the same way, but you're giving your back a little support. Okay, now we're gonna do a backward lunge, holding the bottle in one hand. So holding that jug, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back with the same foot that you're holding your jug in. So make sure when you take the big step back, you're taking a step far enough that when you go down, this 
knee stays directly over your ankle. So we'll just stay on one side. Again, if you um, need to stand next to a counter or something for some balance. Also, if that's too much, you can step back and just do a little lunge. You don't have to go all the way down to the floor. Just do a mini lunge. But we're keeping your torso up tall, just dropping straight down. Three more. Nine and 10. Good, I'm gonna refresh my screen here and make sure that I am on. Okay, now we're gonna stand on the other foot. Grab that bottle in the other hand. So holding onto weights in one hand versus two, is like I said, for that shoulder press too, you're having to use those stabilizing muscles to keep your core strong and stable and level so that we're not, you know, you don't want to tip over to one side to carry that weight. You want to stay level and use all of those stabilizing muscles to keep you upright and straight. Remember, stand next to something if you need to for support or for balance. And do these in a little bit smaller range of motion if you need to. Okay, great. Now, hang on to that jug, and we're going to do some side chops. So, a good athletic stance, so feet a little wider than shoulder width or shoulder width apart. Knees bent a little, so you're just in an athletic stance. You're not standing straight like this, and you're not in a squat. Just a little bit like, you know, if you're going to get ready to move. So, hold that gallon jug right here at your chest. We're going to chop out to the side, just like you're going to throw it. And then you're gonna move your weight over that side of your foot just a little bit too. So we're doing a little bit of a weight shift as you chop that gallon jug. So we're getting some explosive movement here, working those arms a little bit differently. Just like you're gonna throw it, you really wanna make it slosh, make some noise like a washing machine. Again, if a gallon jug full is too much, just take a little out. You can make it way less, make it more manageable for you. If it doesn't feel like enough weight, do a few more repetitions. Do all of this through three or four times. Okay, next we're gonna do some single leg stance bicep curls. So stand on one foot, Hold the weight in the other foot, or the other arm, the opposite arm, and we're gonna do some bicep curls. So, notice you're having to use that core to stay stable. This is a big balancing challenge because you've got one weight in one arm and you're moving it up and down, so you're challenging that balance while you're doing those biceps curls. Do it next to a counter if you need to for that extra support, but try not to hang on if you can. So you're really challenging that balance and trying to keep those hips level. So you don't want to be standing and letting your weight go into that hip that you're standing on. Similarly, you don't want to be standing like this and trying to curl because it's going to be really hard to do that bicep curl. Try to keep everything stable, even though you're just standing on that one leg. Okay, now we're gonna switch. So stand on that other foot. Slowly up and down. Again, if this is too much weight for one arm bicep curl, you can do two and still stand on one leg and get that balance challenge. Or you can use a little bit less weight, you know, pour a little liquid out. Keep that shoulder, keep those shoulders level, keep your hips level, really work hard. This is working your glutes in addition to this entire leg that's having to stabilize you in this position. Okay, so the last one, we're gonna lower down to the floor and do some Russian twists. So this is a good abdominal exercise. 
But if you do have low back pain sitting in a position like this, go ahead and get a rolled up towel or a soft medicine ball and stick it right up in next to your sacrum so that when you lean back, you have a little bit of support there. So knees bent, heels on the floor, your legs are relaxed, hold that jug right here at your chest and we're gonna twist and lower it to the side on either side. If this feels easy, try leaning back a little bit and straightening out your knees just a little. You don't wanna have them straight, but a little bit, just a little bit of a bend. Make sure you keep breathing. Sometimes it can be really hard to keep breathing when you're doing ab exercises. So if you wanna breathe in while you do one whole repetition and then breathe out while you do another, just kind of play with it and make sure that you're breathing. Okay, that is a full workout that you can do with just a bottle of water. So if you do find yourself needing more of a challenge, like I said, you can do these things, you can slow them down, except for those chops because they're kind of an explosive motion. Slow them down, do more repetitions. So you can do, you know, instead of 10 squats, do 20, as long as you're not having any pain, but do 20. So increase those repetitions, do those really slowly. So when you do squats really slowly up and down, you're really requiring a lot of muscle recruitment. So most of these, you can just slow down and do more repetitions. Um, the other thing is you can find larger vessels to hold water if you need more weight and easily pour some out if a gallon weighs too much. So like I said, a gallon of water weighs eight pounds. And if you find that's too much, just pour a little out. So do these through a couple more times. And if you need to do them three or four more times, if you've got the time, but um, go ahead and let me know if you have anything fun that you've decided that works for you. I think it's great to use stuff like this for a workout because you don't need fancy equipment to get a good workout. There's a lot of excuses out there but having the equipment shouldn't be one of them because you can do a lot with body weight. You can do a lot with household items. All right, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.